Hi everybody, my name is Braxton and uh, I love creating light fixtures out of things. It could be anything from a whiskey bottle to an instrument to recently a piece of farm equipment. Uh, yeah, so I figured this time I want to take a video and show you guys what I do when I make a lamp. So this is one I've actually made before. Uh, I've done two of these so far and uh, I kind of have the hang of it, but it's a little different with every project. So stick around, we'll see what happens. I'll take you, um, I'm just gonna like hop over to the next section, yeah, jump cut! Cool. Now we're back. So here it is. So I am making a violin lamp. This is a uh, little violin I recently got a fr from a friend of mine. This is going to go to their violin instructor for a present. So I'm really excited to make this for them. Hope you enjoy the lamp. Uh, this is gonna be fun. So what I usually do to make a lamp is I start with a lamp. Meaning, I find old antique lamps that uh, the wiring is old and outdated and needs replaced and everything. So, what I end up doing is I take this lamp apart, uh, taking the base of this lamp to act as the base of my violin lamp. Sometimes I use... Sometimes I use the, uh, the, the pipe going up through, uh, but I don't think I'll be able to use this one. It's just a little short, so I don't think it's going to end up working. But... We'll take it apart and see what happens. So let's get started. So here is the lamp that I'm deconstructing to uh, use the base for my violin lamp. And uh, I noticed this little piece right here, it like, it bounces. And I've never seen anything like that before. So I put a little tiny little tester bulb in it, plugged it into my power bar, and let's see what happens. Here's the lamp, it's on, everything works. And I push this, what? It's a little switch. Oh, we're gonna use that. We're gonna use that. Okay, so the uh, lamp has been taken apart. This is the main skeleton of the lamp that I like to keep. Um, uh, since I discovered the nice new feature of the uh, fancy little switch, I have the switch over here. I have the rest of the socket taken apart and here are all the pieces of the body. But as of now, here's what it looks like when it's all taken apart. I'm gonna get out the violin and start kind of playing around with how I'm going to mount it. Here we go. Everything is taken apart. The tuning pegs are here to be used later. Everything is here and also strings are here, which is nice. I will put those back on at the end. They do not need to be played because they can't be tuned. Mainly because these guys are gonna get altered, but we're not gonna talk about that now. Moving on. I'm thinking about taking the violin and making it to where when you wanna turn the light on and off, you just go like you push the whole violin. It'd be kinda of cool. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to work, but we're definitely going to try that because I would really love to keep using that switch. Um, that was a wonderful find. Okay, so now the question is, how do I get this to go with this and make a light? This is actually what I love about the lamp making process. I got to use parts of my brain I don't normally get to use. Um, this is the problem solving factor. Every lamp I make is extremely different due to the lamp that has come before it that I get to alter into a full piece. Um, I don't know, this is exciting. Uh, in the past, I've done certain ways that have worked really well that I don't think are gonna work right now. Mainly being, I have to find a way to get this little recoil action with the spring so that this guy can turn on and go ch -ch 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 -ch, because that is gonna happen, I'm determined. Um, how it's gonna happen, not quite sure yet, but that's what this is for. Uh, I'm going to take some pondering and figure it out, and I will get back to you very shortly. Let's do this. There's a sticker on my stool. Son of a gun, I'm back. Wait a minute, hang on just a second. What happened if I did this? Oh, you see that? Oh. I have a thought. Okay, 
see roughly a half an inch. Half inch. I have an idea. So to make that spring work, I have to find a way to fit this onto here, right? So this big guy here, I took some pieces from him, and here we go. Slide him down on. He looks just nice and pretty like he's happy to be there. Boom. He slides down in nice and easy, and and he can make the click. So this piece is done uh, for now. Uh, I taped it up. I'm going to take it out and paint this uh, silver here. A little bit of black, maybe, uh, just to kind of keep it dark so that it doesn't uh, draw attention. It's going to be underneath the violin, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. So uh, I'm going to paint that, and we'll be back. We are back on our day two of uh, stuff going on. Lamp building. I had just taken out our little uh, cup piece that I had adapted to hold the violin on top for the switch. Uh, it turned out better than I hoped. What I can do until I can get this pipe is prepare the violin. So this is where the tedious, intense work comes in because one wrong move could ruin the violin and mess up the whole project. I have ruined a violin in the past uh, doing that. Here we go, let's be careful. Okay, so that's done. So, you look here, there's a the front. I just saw it off a little bit and there's a nice divot for the pipe to fit. Now I can get in to drill a hole, so let's do that. Hi everyone. I'm just now realizing that I didn't video an update. I had to go back to school, so this is weekend number two. Uh, everything's taking a little bit longer, but that's okay. It's a fun process. What's going on right here is I am now drilling a hole through the base of the neck of the violin, which is the trickiest part because you not only do you have to drill through an angle, you have to uh, set a little pilot hole. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a nail and making a little pilot hole so I can drill through. Let's uh, cross our fingers here and hope it goes well. Right now I'm filing the hole that I drilled out. Everything went pretty well. It's uh, looking pretty good right now. As you can see, I got a pole that will fit down through. That is the pipe that we'll be using. That'll be the skeleton to our lamp. It is threaded all the way through and will work as the main support of the lamp itself. Okay, everybody, it has been a week. Um, actually, it's about 1 in the morning right now. I've been working for hours trying to figure out this uh, violin lamp. I finally made a breakthrough about 5 minutes ago. And uh, take a look here. This is what the lamp looks like so far. And with the mechanism, it works. It's a little loud, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I'm not happy with that. That's not right. I've been working too hard on this. I do not want to accept the fact that it's going to sound really loud like that. So when I go back next weekend, we're going to fix that. So let's keep going. Hi everyone. Weekend number three of working on this violin lamp. I got a haircut uh, since the last time I've been on here. I need to do some more work on our violin here on the back. I need to make these holes line up a little bit straighter. I went to Lowe's and got a piece of copper pipe. I think I found a solution to the, to the noise problem. I'm going to feed this pipe through it. This will be through the, through the violin at all times. It'll be attached to the violin. Then what I'm going to do is I have these little rubber little rubber washer stoppers. So I'm going to put one up here and then like one down here like that. So that what will happen is this will slide over top of it and still be making the spring action. It'll have a nice smooth up and down. We're going to try it out. Stick around. Let's see what happens. Here's what I have so far. Isn't that nice? But you hear the clanging and the clunking and the clanging. It's still pretty clunky if you ask me. That's got to change. We're going to come back later tonight. We're going to file these rubber washers down, fit them to size, and we're going to make sure that thing doesn't make a daggone sound when it clicks. It doesn't make a daggone sound when it clicks. You mean the click is not a sound? 
Listen, it's gonna sound pretty. Okay. I have cut that down to size. I'm gonna put her on our lamp here. Those little grooves off of there. We're gonna put our pieces back together again. Now, to try on for size our lamp. Guess what? That's what I want. Alrighty, so here we go. This is it. Let's let's wire it up and let's test it. What do you say? Mm, I'm excited. Are you? Let's do this. Whew. Alrighty, this is a big moment. I'm very excited. I'm very very nervous. We're gonna plug this in and uh, see if I wired this right and see if I have a working lamp. Here we go. right there three weeks trying to figure out this guy let's uh let me pop a quick lampshade on him here I'm speechless I can't make words right now this is this was one of the most challenging thought-provoking jobs how to get that working and how to get it moving without making too much noise alrighty ladies and gentlemen I'm pretty much done with this lamp all I have to do now is paint it and reassemble it and I have a lamp. Have a wonderful day.